Hey everyone, Ryan here. Today's video is about Pocket Network and I'm gonna cover exactly why I've just invested in this protocol, why I'm so bullish on the future of this. And we're also gonna look at the very, very impressive passive income opportunities that um, you can take advantage of by staking, um, running nodes or contributing to nodes. It's actually every budget level and the APRs and the APYs are really, really good on this crucial piece of Web3 technology. So we're gonna go through everything you need to know about Pocket Network in today's video. Now, if you like these videos where I'm highlighting passive income opportunities, yield generation opportunities, um, farming, um, how to earn in DeFi, please do like the video, please leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel. I really try and make these videos um, not hypey in any way. We don't use clickbait or anything like that. Sometimes that means we don't get as much reach. We don't get as many views on YouTube. So any likes, comments, or subscribes that you can give us really, really helps the channel out, especially as we are on the smaller side. Okay, so first of all, what is Pocket Network? What are the benefits of it? And why am I so bullish? Okay, now uh, Pocket Network is, you can think of it as basically a decentralized competitor or decentralized version of something like AWS, Amazon Web Services, or Cloudflare, okay? So technology that, um, you know, decentralized applications, um, you know, a lot of crypto decentralized applications rely on these kind of providers, Infura, things like that. And they deal with, you know, very high throughput, very high usage apps where you need speed, you need reliability, you need uptime, and you need the ability to not be censored, okay? Now, Pocket Network provides a decentralized and what I think is a better alternative to these legacy kind of AWS and Cloudflare technologies, okay? And I'm gonna go in through why today. Now, their website, unlike many crypto websites, actually does a pretty good job of explaining what their offering is, why it's good, who benefits, and, and things like that, okay? So you can see here, Web3 infrastructure the right way, decentralized okay now they hit home on on the main benefits pretty well here so if we think we are you know a deployer of an app like metamask or DeFi kingdoms or some other high volume app okay this is who this is talking to so instead of deploying to a single service provider such as cloudflare aws we will be paying uh, absurd high fees you might have random outages you might have leaked data um you can actually tap into Pocket Network's um, trustless API protocol, okay? And instead of relying on one big company like Amazon, you'll be relying on thousands of independent full nodes um, distributed all across the world by different in, uh, individuals and that supports all major blockchains, okay? So that is the key, um, that is the key USP. Um, you don't have the reliance on these um, big tech companies that you know Amazon can switch anybody off um, whenever they want. Basically, there's outages, is extremely expensive, um, and you're basically just almost relying your entire business. Um, you know, we're in Web three, it's supposed to be decentralized, and yet some of these companies are just relying on cloud or relying on Amazon. Um, and if they go down or if they decide they're doing something they don't like you know, that's it. You don't have any other options. Well, Pocket Network is the um, is the alternative for that. That is blockchain uh, Web3 based, okay? Um, I really like how they put it here. So you wanna rely on a protocol such as Pocket Network, not a business such as Amazon or Cloudflare, okay? And why is that? Well, businesses such as Amazon and Cloudflare seek profit and carry costs that protocols such as Pocket Network do not, okay? If you're relying on a business, it means you're paying more than you need to, you will have downtime. You know, we've seen these apps that um, rely on, you know, Infura and other providers. You know, MetaMask has had a lot of problems lately, just going down, unusable. You know, Pocket Network is supposed to solve issues like that and also completely remove any possibility of censorship for Web3 applications, okay? So you may even be shut down with these, you know, leg legacy providers. So Pocket Network is a protocol, okay? It's not a business. Um, you'll never pay more than you need to. You'll always have uptime and you'll be unstoppable in terms of not being able to be shut down, okay? So Pocket Network is essentially a cheaper, more reliable, uncensorable you know, competitor um, designed for blockchain that competes with Amazon or Cloudflare, all right? So pretty good, um, pretty good USP if you ask me. 
highly, highly critical into infrastructure for the future of Web3 as well. And it looks like this is actually works out a lot cheaper than using those other solutions for developers and the creator of decentralized applications. Okay. And it says here, your application um, will actually be relying on thousands of nodes that will be supporting it rather than just one big company. Okay. And they claim that this results in zero downtime. All right. So again, big, big USP. So that all sounds great, but is it popular? Are people actually using it? Are people actually choosing this um, in the crypto world over things like AWS or Cloudflare or whatever? Well, I had a look into um, how the network's doing, and it seems that the answer is yes, this thing is growing like crazy in terms of usage. So this article released a week ago, Pocket Network grows revenue 14 fold in 90 days, seeing a huge increase in demand, okay? And according to this uh, press release from mid-January 2022, um, in the last 30 days, the Pocket Network, um, the revenue for Pocket Network, uh, the overall network, is $150 million in 30 days, which makes it the second chain behind only Ethereum if you're looking at total revenue generated for the entire protocol. Okay, so that is massive. This is its own chain. And in terms of protocol revenue, it's only behind Ethereum. So I think it's safe to say that this thing is really taking off. The usage is going through the roof and people are really, really starting to see the value. And that is the first reason why I am in this. Now, the second reason is the incredible opportunity for passive income and yield generation that this protocol offers if you're going to go through staking, running a node, or contributing to a partial node. And that is what I want to talk about now. Okay. So like I said, just now pocket network is its own chain. Okay. Which means it's going to have its own wallet. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is we'll look at how to buy tokens in a minute. You're going to need the pocket network wallet, same as any other wallet. You're going to set it up. You're going to have recovery phrases, um, and things like that for security backups. So make sure you're familiar with all of this, read through these documents. Um, you will need the pocket network wallet to do anything that you're going to need to do to earn, um, yield and, um, to earn APR, APY on your tokens. All right. So. That is going to be the first step. Now, once you've had your tokens, um, we're going to look at where to buy them in a second and the prices and, prices and things like that. Um, we are going to talk about the opportunity for passive income and yield generation, because that for me um, was the main thing that really, really got me interested in, um, in buying this. So you have a few options. So you can stake um, Pocket Network. The token is POKT. Okay, and you can do that either by running your own full node, by outsourcing the node running to another company that will run it for you for a fee, or if you don't have enough tokens to run a, um, a full node, you can join a pool where you can contribute to a portion of a node. Okay, so let's talk about that, how to do it, the requirements and things like that. Um, this is the current pocket network price, uh, $1.36. You can see here um, where to buy it. Uh, it doesn't have huge coverage on the big exchanges uh, just yet. It's not on Coinbase, Binance, things like that. That to me is an opportunity. Okay, I bought through um, through Huobi. Now, right now, in order to run a node, you need 15,000 pocket network tokens. Okay, and at today's prices, that is just above $20,000. Okay, so a decent... Um, a decent investment. However, if you don't have that much money, if you don't want to invest $20,000, you still have options where you can earn the same APRs, the same rewards on a smaller amount of tokens. So we're going to go through the options to set up run nodes and earn some really, really good yields. So the standard APR for this is somewhere around um, 250%. It's actually going to be over 800% if you let your rewards compound. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Okay. So these are your options. Okay. If you want to run your own node, you need just over 15,000 pocket tokens. Okay. Which is roughly $20,000. You also need DevOps skills. Okay. Um, that is not my background. I looked into this, looked into the uh, possibility of setting up my own node. It is not straightforward if you're not used to doing things like that. And it's also not a case of just setting it up and letting it go. Like these um, nodes are doing real things in the real world to support these apps, okay? So if something goes down, if there's maintenance that needs to be done, 
that is something that you're going to need to do yourself. You're going to need to be able to do it. So you are going to need DevOps skills if you want to run your own node. So I am not going to do that. I am going to do one of these other options, which is either pay someone to run a node. I may do that, or I'll probably just put most of my tokens into the staking pool. Okay. So in their forum, um, if you want to have a full node that is, you know, completely yours, there are some recommended node hosting services. Okay. You can look through them here and there's a thread for this in, in the forum. Um, they're going to have their own fees. They're going to have um, their own minimum requirements. It's going to cost you roughly between five and 10% of the monthly node rewards, whether you're paying a fixed fee or the percentage of revenue, um, you know, some are higher than that, but you know, you are going to have to pay somebody to run node if you don't want to do it yourself. Now, the option that I'm probably going to go with is the staking pool. Okay. So the staking pool is great for, you know, a couple of different people. One, if you don't have $20,000 and you don't want to buy, you know, 15,000, um, pocket tokens, you can take any smaller amount of pocket and you can contribute to a node in a pool. Okay. So 15,000 tokens for a node. If you only have, you know, 150 tokens, you can put them in the pool and you'll contribute to 1% of a node, you know, 50, sorry, 150 tokens. If you have 1500 tokens, you can put them in a pool and you'll have, you know, 10% of a node and you'll get 10% of the node rewards. Okay. So there is a community run staking pool, which is called pocket pool. The link is um, in the forum and it links you to their discord. You basically go in, um, there's some instructions for contributing to nodes and, and things like that. And um, this is basically going to be the easiest option for people with a small amount of pocket tokens, or even if you have more than 15,000, if you had enough for your own node, you don't have the skills, you don't want to work with some third party company and enter a contract for them to run a node for you, you can just contribute into the pool. And, um, you know, that is what I will be doing after researching the various options. So community run pool, the people that run it seem very, very trustworthy, and I'll be happy to put my tokens in there. But obviously you should, you know, evaluate for yourself and see which one of these options is, um, is best for you. Okay. Now, now we're going to look at the rewards. We're going to look at what you can earn and how you can get the crazy high APYs of over 800% that I um, mentioned just now. So we're going to go to Pocket Scan, which is a um, you know website that monitors the um, the network. And what I'm looking for here are the earnings per node. Okay, so you can see here that today um, each full node, so fifteen thousand tokens is a full node, um, earns you know roughly a hundred Pocket tokens per day. And over the last month has been a little bit higher, but we'll use today's number to be conservative and we'll say it's a hundred um, tokens per day, which at today's prices is um, $136 per day, okay, which is just over $4,000 a month. So 20,000 investment um, into, you know, enough tokens for a node will get you, you know, roughly $4,000 a month. If you had, you know, enough for half a node, you would get roughly um, $2,000 a month in the, um, in the staking pool minus any fees that they are, um, that they are going to take. Okay. So what that means is if we look at this, we say we are in a hundred tokens per day. Um, if you have a full node, 15,000 tokens, it's going to take roughly 150 days for you to match what you put in. Okay. So I'll say make your money back, but you don't actually lose the tokens that you put into, into a node. But if today's prices stay the same, the reward, rewards stay the same, you would double your money in um, 150 days just from the node rewards, okay? And um, I will say that again, when you put tokens into the node, you don't lose them. They're locked up for a couple of weeks should you want to withdraw them. But six months from now, if you want to um, take the tokens out, you can take them out and sell them, okay? So 150 days to double your money. Um, that roughly means that um, the APR for the year is somewhere around 250% at today's rates, give or take. Okay. So 250% APR for running a node. That is really, really good. If you ask me now, just now I said, you can, you can earn up to 800%. And this is where the beauty of the community pool pocket pool comes into play. Okay. Now, if you are running your own node, or you are using a service to run a node for you, your rewards aren't compounded. Okay. You'll have to wait till you have enough tokens for a new node and then set up the new node. But if you use pocket pool, which is the community staking pool that I'm going to use, 
they will by default compound your rewards every month unless you decide to withdraw them, which you can do a couple of weeks after um, putting your tokens in should you want to, okay? And if you let this happen, this has a huge impact on your earnings, okay? So I set a standard, 250% is the APR. If you let Pocketball compound them once a month, the APY, so the total um, that you'll earn over the course of a year with compounding is over 800%, okay? So this is one other reason why I'm gonna be using Pocketball, even though I could set up a, um, a node based on the amount of tokens that I have, I'm gonna be using the pool because I want those rewards to compound. And if I leave them in, it's gonna give me 800% APY in terms of number of tokens I'll get per year, not including, obviously not accounting for any appreciation or depreciation in the price, okay? So I will be using the community pool to stake my um, tokens and contribute to a number of, um, of nodes that they'll be, they'll be running. Now, let's have a look at the, um, at the token price because we've just talked about rewards and you might be thinking, okay, where do these rewards come from? Is this thing inflationary? And yes, the answer to that is right now in the early stages of this product, um, this token is, is inflationary, okay? You can see the last couple of weeks, the price has been pretty stable, even though the, the inflation is, is pretty high. So this is something that you need to, um, you need, need to take into account. Um, in this section, talking about the, uh, the economics of the token, um, this is what they have to say. So because of the way that nodes are incentivized, the pocket network economic, economic model is inflationary during the growth phase, okay? Right now we're in the growth phase. We seen those articles earlier, how fast this thing is growing. Um, but the monetary policy is intentionally designed to encourage adoption. So right now it's inflationary. Um, at network maturity, so at some point in the future, um, there will be a burn initiated, okay? So that will um, offset any newly created tokens and eventually they will stabilize the overall supply when they get to what they call the maturity phase, okay? So over time, the inflation is gonna go down. The rewards are very, very high right now if they use if you use compounding, but do bear in mind it's an inflationary token, okay? So um, this price is $1.36 today. And, you know, I don't know where the price is going to go over the coming weeks and months, um, but I do like the, um, the rewards and the fact that this is investing in critical infrastructure for the, the future of crypto. OK, now, one thing that I do like, um, even though the supply is very inflationary right now, you can see this red line. This is the total supply. OK, what I am interested in, in is these other lines on this graph, which are here, the blue line. This is the total stake supply. And this gray line is the total unstake supply. So even though the inflation is, is going up every month, the token supply is increasing. Um, the stake tokens, the lot tokens that are in nodes or being used by developers to use the network, that is going up at a pretty good rate. And the no number of tokens that are in the total supply, but unstaked and just free floating, that is going down, okay? So this to me shows really good confidence in the network. It shows a lot of demand. Yes, there's inflation, but these tokens are generally being locked into the network and either staking or developers are using them to um, actually use the network and the number of unstaked tokens is actually going down. So to me, that is, you know, pretty, pretty bullish, okay? So that is the... Um, that is the information on Pocket Network. That is why I'm invested. I think this is a critical piece of infrastructure for the future of crypto. The passive income opportunities are really, really great. I personally will be using the Pocket Pool um, community pool to compound my rewards. And I'm very, very excited about what this project could do over the coming months and years. Okay. Obviously, do your own research. I'm not telling anybody to, to invest in this but this is why I have personally bought into, um, into this token. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Please leave me a comment below. This has been Pocket Network and the Pocket Token, and I will see you in the next video.